Hi, in this video, I'm going to discuss how partnerships distribute their profit and losses. And there are many issues we have to discuss when it comes to sharing profit and losses among the partners. Hi, I'm the Commerce Specialist. Welcome to my channel where you find videos covering learning outcomes of various academic qualifications and professional certifications, including life-changing business ideas and hacks. So this video is focused on distribution of profit and losses among partners. One thing you should understand, the beauty of partnership is the partnership agreement. We also call it partnership deed. So what is a partnership agreement? When partners form a partnership, it is advisable but not mandatory that they should prepare an agreement. If they prepare an agreement, it saves them a lot of time, it saves them future hassles, in fact, it minimizes the possibilities of future disagreements. As I said, the beauty of partnership is that once an agreement is made, whatever is written in the agreement, the different provisions of the agreement, if all the partners agree, it can be applied in the partnership. For example, if there are three partners, they all invest equal amount of money in the partnership but one of the partner gets 50% share and the other two get 25-25, that is possible. Though they invested equal amount of money, but their profit and loss sharing ratio can be different. Why? Because in the agreement, they all agreed to. So there are many things which may sound little illogical to you, but it is possible in partnership if all the partners agree to it in their agreement. So here there is a question through which I will try to touch upon different aspects when it comes to distribution of profit and loss under partnership. So here we are talking about A, B and C are partners having the following details. So please pay attention. Uh, capital account balances, A has a capital of 700,000, B has a capital of 600,000 and C has a capital of 500,000. They also have current account balances which is 335,000 for A, 290 for B and 225 for C. Drawings, yes, they have done some drawings from the partnership for personal use, 300,000 for A, 200,000 for B and 100,000 for C. The partnership agreement provided the following, that salaries should be paid 40,000 to A, 80,000 to B and 50,000 to C. Interest of 10% on capital to be allowed to all the partners. These are the capital balances. They will get 10% on interest. Interest on drawing is there 20%. Interest on loan from partner is 15%. And Mr. A has given loan to partnership, which is 400,000. Balance profit and loss is to be distributed in the ratio of 3 is to 2 is to 1. Obviously, 3 is for A, 2 is for B and 1 is for C. Net profit for the year amounted to 200,000. We are going to see how this 200,000 is to be distributed among the partners looking at the salient features of their agreement as well. So here there are certain things which you need to know. Most of the partners in a partnership will maintain a fixed capital account and also a current account. Fixed capital account means nothing happens to their capital. It remains the same. Any changes during the year which is to be done in the capital account goes into the current account. Now here you should understand why partners are getting salaries. Yes, partners can be entitled to salaries as long as it is written in the agreement because they are not only investing money, but they are also investing their time. They are actively involved in the management of the partnership. So yes, if they work somewhere else, if I am the partner, I invest in a partnership, I can be a sleeping partner. I only invest and I don't participate. So there is a possibility I can invest in partnership A and work in company B from nine to five. So from partnership, I'll get my share of profit and losses. And from company B where I'm working, I can get salaries. So same is the logic for partners. If they're investing and they are actively involved in the management of the company, yes, they're entitled to salaries, which is this much. Then come interest on capital. Let's say I'm a person who has a lot of investment and you guys are running a partnership. You want me to invest in your company. So this is my argument. If I invest my money in the bank, I'm getting 10%. So if I invest with you in your partnership, how much do you give me? Return on my investment, which is interest on capital. So partners, yes, they may be allowed interest, which is 10% on the capital accounts. Drawings is not considered very, very 
healthy for a partnership because we all understand that drawing is something uh, which we uh, which the partners withdraw from the company the partnership for their personal use so yes partners are the owners of the company you can't stop them but in the partnership agreement you can have a clause which discourages drawings so what do they have here interest on drawing 20 percent means if a partner withdraws money from the partnership for personal use unless he or she returns it back they have to pay interest 20 percent on that drawing to the partnership so this interest keeps the partners to keep their drawings level of drawings low so that they pay less interest ideally no drawings is good there is also a possibility that the partnership is in great difficulty, they need money. If they borrow from bank, let's say the bank is asking for 20% interest on loan. And there is a possibility among the partners, one of them may have enough money to lend to the partnership. So if they borrow from bank, they're paying 20%. So if the partnership borrows from the partner, maybe the interest could be a little low. As in this case, it is 15%. Net profit for the year is 200,000. Now let's see step by step how this profit is distributed among the partners. The very first step is to prepare a profit and loss distribution summary. I'm preparing it here. We have net profit, which is 200,000 given in the question. Then I'm writing add interest on drawings. Now, interest on drawing is something which the partners are giving to the partnership. So the partnership has already made 200,000 profit from outsiders and the partnership is also earning from partners in the form of interest on drawing. So interest on drawing is 20%. So I'm writing here at the rate of 20%. So obviously there is Mr. A, Mr. B and Mr. C. These are the partners. Their drawings are 300, 200, and 100,000. So 300,000, 200,000, and 100,000. So you work out 20% on this. So 20% of 300,000 is 60,000. 20% of this is 40,000. And 20% of 100 is 20,000. So this is the total amount they the partnership earned from the partners, which is 120,000. So when you add this, this is 320,000. This is the total amount to be distributed. 200,000 has been earned from outsiders and 120 the partnership has earned from partners in the form of interest on drawings. Now we need distribution. So I am writing here partner A, B, C and the total. So the very first thing it says here, partners are allowed salary. So I'm writing here salaries to partners. Forty thousand to A, eighty to B and fifty to C. So salaries forty thousand here. 80,000 to B and 50,000 to C. So the total amount comes to 170,000. The next amount is they are also entitled interest on capital. So we are talking about interest on capital, which is at the rate of 10%. Uh, so their capital balances are here 700, 650. So 10% of 700,000 is 70,000. 10% of 600,000 is 60,000. And 10% of 500,000 is 50,000. So this comes to 180,000. We have to pay partners in the form of interest on capital. We also have to pay interest on loan to Mr. A. The loan amount is 400,000 and interest allowed under partnership agreement is 15%. So we are writing interest on loan to Mr. A is at the rate of 15% and the amount of loan is 400,000. So 15% of this would be 60,000. 
nothing to be paid them because they never gave loan to the firm. So total 60,000 is to be paid to Mr. A from the partnership. So now what we have to look at is the total amount available to be distributed is 320. And when I add these total appropriations to be made, distributions to be made is how much? So this total comes to 410,000. Now please pay attention. The total amount to be distributed, the available profit is 320,000. But the amount as per agreement we have to pay to the partners is 410. That means we are short of money. How much? So I'm just writing here. Balance, profit and loss to be distributed in the ratio 3 is to 2 is to 1. Now what is the balance profit and loss? The total amount available for distribution was 320,000. Whereas we have to pay partners 410. Which means we are short of 90,000. And this 90,000 will be distributed in this ratio. Which means A will get see 3 is to 2 is to 1 total sum of ratio will be 6. So A will get 3 upon 6, which is half of 90,000, which is 45,000. B will get 2 upon 6, okay, which will be 30,000. And C will get 1 upon 6 into 90,000, which will be 15,000. So this is how this balance loss of 90,000 is distributed obviously it's lost so I'm putting it in brackets so finally what is happening this becomes 0 obviously plus 320 minus 410 and this will give you 0 now a the partnership has to pay a 40,000 as salaries 70,000 as interest on capital, 15% on loan, and the remaining share of loss is this much. So you add these three amounts, and minus 45, you get 125,000, 110,000, and 85,000. Now, what is happening here is, this is what is they are getting after distribution of loss. So guys, now I've already prepared the profit and loss distribution account. I'm just giving you a summary of this so that we can start off with the current account. So if you look at this, the net profit was 200,000. Interest charged on drawings. This is the interest partners are paying to the company, which is 120,000. So as I told you, interest on drawing is charged to discourage partners to withdraw from the firm because the habit of drawing is not very healthy for the partnership. So the company made a profit of 200,000. Interest charged on drawings of partners is 20%, which is 120 for each. Total amount to be distributed is 320. As per partnership agreement, salaries were given to A, B, and C, total, total 170. Interest on capital to partners, which was at the rate of 10%. Okay, so that is the capital balances are here, given here. So you calculate 10%. Interest on loan was at 15%, okay, uh, which Mr. A provided to the company, which comes to 60,000, nothing for BNC. So total appropriation, total distributions are 410. When you subtract from 320, you get minus 90. Minus 90 means balance loss. This loss is distributed as per agreed ratio, 3 is to 2 is to 1. What I did, I added all these three, minus 45, you get uh, 125. Add this, you get 100 and 10 and then when you add this minus the balance loss you get 85,000. Now the next step is to prepare current accounts. As I told you partners most of the partnership maintains separate capital account which remains undisturbed the amount remains the same and any amount which the firm owes to the partner or partner owes to the firm is entered into the current account. So let's see how it is prepared. Partners current account. It's prepared in a memorandum form. So we have partner 
A, B and C, A, B and C. Whenever you're preparing current account, check if there is any opening balance. So in the question, it gives us current account balances are this much. So if nothing is written, by default, current accounts will have opening balance of credit because increase in capital is a credit, okay? Applying rules of debit, normal balances, opening balance of capital account are generally credit. So I'm taking opening balance, 335, 290 and 225. So balance brought down, 335 for A, 290 for B, and for C it is 225. Once we write the opening balances, the next step is to see here, see the appropriation. These are the amounts which partners are getting. So let's see salaries. As per the rules of debit and credit, it's very simple. Like, you know, increase in capital or current account is credit. So if a partner is getting salary, it is credited to their current account because it will increase their balance. Increase in capital account or current account is a credit. So if they're getting salaries, it will be credited to the current account. 40,000 for A, 80,000 for B, and 50,000 for C. They are also getting interest on capital. That also will be credited to their current account, which is 70, 60, and 50, 70 for A, 60 for B, and 50,000 for C. Interest is only given to Mr. A, so interest to on loan it is actually to uh, Mr. A, which is 60,000. Other partners are not getting any interest. Apart from this, please pay attention, when you're preparing a current account, you have to post the drawings balances. So if you look at the drawings of partners were given here in the question 300, 200 and 100. So drawings obviously reduces your capital or current account balances. Therefore, I'm writing here drawings of partners 300, 200 and 100,000. 200 and 100,000. Now look here, interest on drawing. These are actually interest charge on drawing by the partnership to the partners. So if partners owe something to the firm, will reduce their capital and current account balances. That's why it will come on the debit side. So I'm writing here, interest charge on drawings, which is 60, 40 and 20. And if you notice, here I wrote balance profit and loss, but it's a loss, it's coming in negative. Why? Because the total amount to be distributed was 320 and the total distributions were 410. So we were minus 90. So because this is negative, it's coming on this side. I'm writing here, you can write here share of balance loss, share of balance loss, 45, 30 and 15. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add all of them okay, and subtract and obviously do the balance carried on and brought down. If you don't know how to balance a ledger account, a T account, I have created a video on basic accounting too where I have discussed in details how to balance a T account. So let me do the totals of all these three sites. So if I total uh, A, it comes to 505,000. When I total side B, it comes to 430,000 and this is 325. Total of this is 405, this is 270 and this is 135. So obviously if you look at A, the credit side of A is greater, this is 505 and this is 405. The credit side B is also greater, 430 and it is 270. The credit side of C is greater, 325 and this is 135. So obviously from higher side, we minus the lower, we will get balance carried down. Obviously carried down is the difference which is written at the lower side. So I'm writing here, balance carried down. 505 minus 405 will give you 100,000. 430 minus 270 will give you 160,000. 
325 minus 135 will give you 190,000. As a result, when you add these, the total will come here as 505. This is 430. And this is 325. Assuming this was January 1st, 2023. So this closing balance is on December 31st, 23. And on the opposite side, on January 1st, 2024, you will have this brought down. Same amount, 100,000, 160,000 and 190,000. So let me give you a recap of current account. In the current account balances, first you have to look at the opening balances. It could be a credit balance by default or it could be a debit balance. So if it's a credit balance, you record it on the credit side. If it's a debit balance, you record it on the debit side. Any amount which partner owes to the firm, like drawings and interest charged on drawing, will be recorded on the debit side. Why? Because that reduces your capital balance. Decrease in capital and current account is a debit. So that's why drawings and interest on drawings are recorded on the debit side. Any amount which the firm, the partnership firm owes to the partners, that means it will increase their capital or current account. So because we're making current account, salaries given to partners will increase their current account. Interest on capital will increase their current account. If the partner is given loan to the company, so the interest he gets obviously will increase. So any amount partners are getting from the firm will be recorded on the credit side. If you look here, interest on loan. And then balance profit and loss, see if it is loss, will come on the debit side as in here balance losses are on the debit side debit side mean it's a loss if it was profit it would have been on the credit side then we will do carry down and brought down this is how partners this is how partnership distributes its profit and loss among their partners now there is something very very important as i said in the beginning of the video the beauty of partnership is the partnership agreement Literally anything you can write in the terms and conditions, if all the partners agree, it can be applied and that's it. But sometimes, as I said, it is advisable to have partnership agreement. But there are certain partnerships which fail to make an agreement. If there are partnerships which fail to make agreement and in future they have some disagreements, some issues, obviously they'll go to the court. And if I'm the judge and let's say you guys are the partners who have some arguments and disagreements and you have come for a solution to the judge, the very first question I'll ask you as a judge, where is your partnership agreement? So obviously you guys will say we never made an agreement. So if you don't have an agreement, I have an agreement by default and that comes from Partnership Act 1890. This is Partnership Act 1890. Now, this is very, very interesting. What does Partnership Act 1890 has? Partnership Act 1890 says that in the absence of an agreement, no partners are entitled to salaries. There will not be any interest on capital. There will not be any interest on drawings. If a partner has given loan to the firm, the interest will only be 5% on that. And you know what? Irrespective of the amount you have invested in the partnership, all profit and losses will be shared equally. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you have any queries related to distribution of profit and loss of a partnership, leave a comment. I will reply to you. If you are unsubscribed up till now, please subscribe my channel. Press the bell notification button so that you get my videos on a timely basis. If you like this video, please share it with your dear and near ones so that others can also benefit. Thank you so very much for your time. Love you all.